The Create React Native App command line lets you get started with mobile application development without needing Xcode or Android build tools. You can get a QR code that can be scanned on the Expo app that was downloaded from the App Store to see your work on the phone. Changes made to the source are reflected as soon as they are saved in the editor. Here, I'm creating a simple application with a counter and buttons to increment or decrement it. Let's save our changes and see the application on the phone. As expected, we have the two buttons that change the counter value. To get started with debugging, I just need to configure the debugger to attach to the right packager port. Here, the packager is running on 19002 and that's what I'm going to configure in my application. I can then head over to the debug menu and select React Native as a type of debugger. I'm going to use the option that says Attach to Packager. Once I hit Run, a debugger is now attached to the packager. I just need to head back to the phone, shake the phone and select Debug JS remotely. This will start my debugging session. Let me close these unwanted tabs and head over to my main file and set a breakpoint. When I tap the add one button, the breakpoint is hit. At this point, I can examine the call stack, look up values for my local variables and look at what the variables are in my current scope. Let's set another breakpoint for the subtract button and once we click that, the second breakpoint is also hit. I can also step over, step into or step out of code segments. Visual Studio Code and Node Chakra also support time travel debugging and setting them up for a Create React Native application is super simple. First, I'm going to download debugger.js. This is the exact same code that runs when a React Native application is debugged using Chrome. Because it is running on Node, it has a couple of NPM dependencies which I can then install. Because I'm going to be using time travel debugging, I also need to create a new folder called logs under which all logs will be stored. For the first part of time travel debugging, let us go ahead and record a debug session. For this, I need to use the port on which the packager was running. We can then start recording by running our debugger in node chakra instead of the regular node that uses V8. Once my application is set to debug mode, all of the actions are recorded in a trace. When the debugging is stopped, all of this information is written to the logs folder. I can then go back to my debug configuration and set the required parameters that will start a debug session with time travel debugging enabled. I already have a couple of breakpoints set and as soon as the program is ready, it's going to hit these breakpoints. In addition to the usual options of stepping into or stepping out of code, I can now step back in time or reverse continue. These are the two new options that were added by Node Chakra and Time Travel Debugging.